Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. Before we get into your reading, Taurus, I want to take the time and remind you guys, uh, encourage you to put positive energy and loving energy out into the universe. We are currently living very difficult and trialing times, very transformative type of energy. If you guys seen the readings that were done in the beginning of the year in January, um, a lot of what was said there is currently unfolding. And I just want to remind you guys that with transformative energy, unfortunately, sometimes it's not all rosy. It's difficult because transformation brings death, but it also brings new beginnings. And I think that we are currently living in a situation where hatred is reigning. So I encourage you guys to take the loving approach to be patient and compassionate towards one another. Um, hate versus hate creates chaos. So we got to take a different approach. I hope that you and everyone and your family members are being safe and are well. All right, let's get into your reading Taurus. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2020. Your first card here is the Six of Coins, Taurus. Okay, so what they're saying here is that the current situation you may be dealing, for some of you guys, it could be some type of training. It could be uh, thinking or contemplating of going back to school. Um taking some type of project or elevating uh, some something uh, in regards to knowledge that is going to bring to you finances or that is going to stabilize your finances. For others of you, uh, there is definitely giving and taking type of energy. So you're very receptive right now, Taurus. Uh, receptive type of energy is very positive because it usually indicates whatever we put out into the universe. That's exactly what we give back. Now you have the two of swords as a current obstacle. So there is some type of stubbornness to you or you're dealing with a situation where it takes two people to make something work. And you're looking at the situation from not from a practical stance, but from what you've convinced yourself that it is. So what they're telling you here is you have two tools. There's lack of balance in regards to a situation where for some of you guys, it could be you're looking at it from a loving standpoint instead of seeing the reality of it. <clears throat> now, you have the three of wands here. Okay, so working in, oh, wow, you have two threes. Yep transformative type of energy challenging there is for some of you guys it could be being challenged in regards to finances um you know perhaps feeling like there is instability in your finances but also refusing um to take action or complacency for some of you guys um but what they're telling you is that there's a need for you to take a different approach. If you are contemplating or thinking of starting a new beginning, like I said, going back to school or getting some type of learning, some type of knowledge that is going to bring to you or help you in your finances, now is the time to do so, Taurus. Um, you got to take a different approach, like I said, and you got to get out of your own way at the same time. Uh, this can also represent having fears about the future. Now you have the four of coins here. So there is restrictive type of energy. I think for some of you guys, it could have to do with finances. For others, it could do with relationships. You have two threes here. So there is definitely a situation or circumstance if you are in a relationship where perhaps in the past uh, there's been dishonesty. Um, and you're trying to figure out whether you should continue in this situation. Perhaps you gave a person the opportunity, uh, but there's still no changes or they're, they're not taking a different approach. And it's almost like you've kind of hit a wall where you're at a point 
that there's frustration, but there's also fear of making a different move or completely ending the relationship. And it's based off of your own fears of fear of either starting over or fear of moving on. Or for others of you, it could be fear because of finances, like finances are very tied to your partner. Um, but your advice here is listening to your emotions, Taurus, listening to your feelings, listening to your intuition. If you feel, as an example, if you've been in a relationship where perhaps there was, uh, you know, a stepping out of relationship and you took them back and they said they were going to prove to you, but it's still dry, the relationship, or they're not really, they're not really acknowledging your need or your craving for having that emotional connection, then it's time you to see them for what they really are. Meaning, don't expect them to change if up until now they haven't changed. If that's just how they are, it's time for you to either accept that and love them or don't settle and listen to what your heart is telling you. Now, you also, you also have here the Five of Cups. So there is, and the Eight of Wands, okay. And the Four of Cups. Okay, so what they're telling me is that for some of you guys, you're, you've been dealing with the situation for a while, and it could be because you are either dependent of your partner financially, or you feel like if there is an ending it's going to unstabilize your finances. And it's almost like you're hurting because they're not giving you the emotional connection or emotional support that you need. But at the same time, you're settling because of fears. And at the same time, it's like you're over it. So you've either checked out or you've pretty much given up or you're just settling. And what they're telling you here is that you need to see things for what they are. If you are in a situation where you're unhappy, you have no one else to blame because you're refusing to make any changes. If you've been thinking of going back to school or getting a job or applying or you know trying to get on your own two feet so that then you can make a decision. What they're telling you is stop procrastinating. Now is the time to take action. You have the eight of wands here. And the eight of wands is that that that's which is unfolding. And at the same time, it's your fear taking action or making a move or taking a different approach. But your hope is also to be able to pull through to stabilize, to find that passion that your body, your mind, and your soul is craving. And there's nothing wrong with that. There really isn't. And if you feel that your partner is lacking in that or that they're not putting their effort or energy towards proving to you that they want you in your life, it's time you start thinking for yourself, Taurus. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, there could be difficulties in regards to finances and stabilizing your finances. For a lot of you guys, everyone, actually, everyone's experiencing this. It's almost a feeling like we are currently at a standstill because of everything that's going on. But there is progress and there is movement that's coming towards you, whether you're aware of it or not, whether you acknowledge it or not. But it, it starts with taking action. You got to get the ball rolling, Taurus. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of insight and clarity. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.